If you've been down Airline Highway in Laplace, you've seen a lot of signs for businesses crop up in the last 60 years. There's one, though, that stands out from the rest, and it even rotates. <laughs> no. Twyla's new Melanson takes us for a burger and a root beer at Frost Top this week, where they're sticking with their sweet roots. Among all the signs you'll see on Airline Highway in Laplace, one stands above the rest. Back in the 50s when it came to this area, I think a lot of the frost stops in the northern states did not have them. Really special in the New Orleans area. It's been there for 60 years, welcoming customers with a taste of something special. The frost top in Laplace has outlived most of its sister restaurants. There are only 12 left in the U.S. The Toller family has been running the store since 1973 and credits part of its longevity to their hands-on approach. People, I think, like to go to a business where the owners are there. They know if, number one, if the, it's going to be done right, and if it's not, we're going to try to handle it. Jim's daughter, Terry, is also one of the owners, and like her dad, she's here every day. The pair have a great relationship, and like any family, they like to have fun. She likes to claim since nine years old. I first started working when I was nine. She has really been running it for the last 20 years. I mean, she does everything for us. She does the buying. She does payroll comes up with a menu uh, improvements and changes. Another thing Terry does is make the famous Frost Top root beer. It's made each week using one local ingredient in particular. Water to here, 116 pounds of good cane sugar to here, and then root beer concentrate finishes it off. It's a mixture that stirs a lot of loyalty. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Reed St. Pierre is usually first in line here. When you ask him how often he comes in, every day, it's not hard to see why. Reed isn't just a regular, he's one of the guys who makes the sugar for the root beer. In fact, here's the famous Frost Top sign, and right down the road here on Airline, this is the start of Reed's sugarcane fields, which surround the restaurant. This cane right here, especially this cane, this is, this is some good land right here on back of the Frost Top. Each day during the planting and harvest seasons, he orders Frost Top for himself and his workers, Cameron Whittington and Elroy Eason. Their lunch table is the shop's fans, and they don't seem to mind the routine. The burgers. <laughs> the burgers. <laughs> Juicy. <It's> good. <laughs> the root beer even better. It's a pretty sweet gig making the sugar that makes the root beer you drink every day. But it's not just the food that keeps bringing these guys back. It's a sense of community. Reed's dad started taking him here in 1972, the year before the Tollers took over from Jim's father-in-law, who started Frost Top in 1958. That's good people that own the Frost Top. You don't find better people than that, man. It's pretty clear the people are the chief ingredient that has kept the Frost Top open for 60 years here and hopefully for at least 60 more. Frost Top will have a 60th anniversary party on Saturday, August 2nd from 2 to 6 p.m. They will be featuring classic cars, a DJ, and of course, the coldest root beer in town. And guys, this was just a fun story to do, but it was also just a great connection between, you know, the sugar that's produced and the people that consume it. And you can see it in one image, which I just thought was amazing. <laughs> you know, you have this guy who goes to Frost Top every single day, and his field is literally right next door. In fact, I mean, you see on Airline Highway, there's some businesses mm -hmm. in between his field and Frost Top, but actually, his sugarcane runs behind the store, oh, so wow. it you know it, it's it's all all in there, and he's just one of these great local guys. You can see the community interaction. You can see just how much the people appreciate one another. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but how was the root beer float? The root beer was <laughs> really really good. Both Allie, Allie, our intern, went with us and went with me, and uh, uh, she was just uh, enamored with the the root beer itself. She got the actual hamburger. I got a uh, po' boy, oh, and okay. we both had a, a great meal there. The root beer, though, is just, it doesn't taste like anything else. It's and the it's best. <laughs> and it is so cold. I used to stop at the one in downtown all the time. Oh, right. Government and Street in Baton Rouge. <sighs> yep. It's yeah. addictive. I think it has crack cocaine in it well, or something. It, well, it does have it's a white so powder good. in it. It's the sugar, and that's uh, it comes right from not the, the same thing. And they and they make uh, you know as you you could see they put the uh, the mugs in the cooler there, and so they're always just ice cold. Uh, and it's twenty ounces, and the whole time it stayed cold, even though there was no ice in it, which I think really makes a difference because you don't have that watering right. down mm -hmm. the whole time. It's oh, so good. Man. Now, so jealous. You're gonna make me go to Frost Top for lunch. <laughs> you Thanks. really should go. <laughs> On Saturday during their, their anniversary party. I think it'll be a really good time. Awesome. Thank awesome. you very much, Neil Malasaw.